Recently, this happened to me. All the lights are white and dimmed, and then there is a blue flashing light. That is a sign of trouble. So the first thing I did was turn it off and on, which is the most logical thing. However, that actually didn't solve anything because the blue flashing was still there. Now what's causing the blue flashing? After all my research that I did is because the panel is faulty. Here are a few things you can do to actually try and solve the issue before you even email them. Perhaps it might just be as simple as pairing the controller. To pair the controller, what you want to do is press the on button and the plus symbol and hold it for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, you'll see it flash. All the lights should be flashing white, not blue. If you constantly see blue lights, you might want to do a hard reset. To do a hard reset, turn off the nano leaf, then hold on to the power button and the plus button, and then turn it back on again. Hold it for 10 seconds until you see the lights flash white, and that's when you know it's a hard reset. But if you've done both of these things and it's still flashing blue, then that means the controller is not responsive. Also, you want to try unplugging the control panel by just snapping it out and then plugging it into different panels. Try two or three different panels, maybe one on this side, one on another side, and then see if that works. If it's still not working, then now it's time to call support. Let me show you the process of what I did. I went over to NanoLeave and I selected the support. After selecting support, you can select this little button here in the corner, which allows you to chat with their support. Just tell them you have a technical problem and they'll send you to a technician. Here, Liana C helped me with my problem. And as we talked through all of it, we eventually got to a replacement. Once the replacement was made and they processed it, I quickly got an email and it shows me the replacement for the controller of the NanoLeaf one. And in my case, it was the shapes. So if you're having the same issue as I was, Make sure you've done the soft reset, the hard reset, or even moving the controller around to different panels to see if they all work. And if it doesn't, contact support. They're pretty helpful and quick as well. Although I did email them this morning and they didn't reply to the email straight away. Whereas on the chat website, they replied immediately. So maybe try that.